Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to another video. So by the title, today's video is going to be on this lovely unit sent to me by Sam's Beauty. Thank you, Sam's Beauty, for sending over this bomb wig. Let's go right ahead and jump into the video. What's up, lovely? So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So today's video is going to be on this lovely wig sent to me by Sam's Beauty. This is, I want to say, Audrina. I think that's how it's pronounced. By the brand Outre. And I have it in the color 1B. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Well, let's go ahead and talk about the construction of the wig. You get two, um, two combs on the side. You're going to get an elastic band as well as a clip in the back and your adjustable straps. And this is five inch parting space. And then you have your lace in the front. And she is really cute. It gives me like a beachy type of vibe this is what it looks like right out of the pack i did not comb it through i did not do anything very pretty i love how heavy i love how full the curls are so far i think it's really pretty i saw some people do like a side part with it so i don't know it was pretty when they did the side part we get into the hairline this is what the hairline is looking like very very nice it is pre-plugged and then they do give you um baby hairs that's not it. They do give you baby hairs um, already cut for you. So that is a plus head and install. So basically what I'm going to do is just make sure that all of the hair is pushed to the back. Um, and I'm going to take my got to be glue and just spray like a little bit around the perimeter. Not a lot because you don't want it to be white and flaky. So just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat on the other side and as you guys saw me I was kind of just like combing through and I just want to make sure that the 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 lace is nice and pressed into my you know into the into the glue and into my scalp so I use my comb and I kind of just push it down as I'm combing back so that just kind of like you know ensures that everything is sticking okay so I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that same process and then I'll be back Take my elastic band and put it around my perimeter. And the reason I um, use an elastic band rather than just a scarf, I feel like when you use an elastic band, you can get it to tie way tighter. And elastic bands are thin like the one that I have on, so it just focuses on the lace. So, yeah. I just feel like this step is very crucial in making sure that everything is nice and melted. So then after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and take my blow dryer really quick and just blow dry this just so I can make sure everything is nice and dry, laid, and melted. For a couple of minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and take my elastic band off. And let's get into the lace. So when you do it like this, it just ensures that everything is nice and laid and slayed. So sometimes, honestly, I piggyback from using a razor or just using scissors. It kind of just depends on the day. So we're going to see what I use. But nonetheless, I'm going to start. I like to cut my lace off in sections 
I find that that is easier. So I'm gonna kind of chop it up into different sections right now. Okay. I don't know. I think I'm gonna use scissors today. So we're gonna use scissors today. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the lace back because some of it, you know, got glued to my forehead. And I'm just going to, if you are using scissors, which is totally fine, if you're using scissors, make sure you're cutting at a jacket, like, like a crisscross, because you don't want your hairline to be too even, because then it doesn't look natural. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this so that I can cut... And when you're cutting your lace off, you want to make sure you're getting as close to your hairline as possible. Well, not to your hairline, but as close to the hairline of the wig as possible. Because that also helps it to be... That also helps it to look as natural as you can get it. So, as y'all can see on this side, like there's a little bit of extra lace. So, I'm just pulling it up. I mean, this is glue to my head, okay? It's been coming off. So I'm just doing a little bit of lifting and cutting. I do have a couple of straggly ends, not straggly ends, but like when I was cutting the lace off, some of the other lace started to lift. So what I'm gonna do is just go back in with my got to be glued and just apply a little bit, blow dry that down, and then we'll move on. Now I'm going to take my alcohol and clean up the perimeter of the wig. Okay, so really quick, I'm just going to take my um, powder and put that along the hairline. Normally I do this towards the end, but I just, I don't know, what's driving me crazy. See really how pretty this looks. Look at that, look at that. That is such a pretty curl pattern. It honestly looks like when you curl your hair and then like you wear it the next day. I feel like day old curls are the best and this is exactly what that reminds me of carve out my baby hair i'm gonna take my hot comb um and just separate the baby hairs and kind of bring them towards the front so that they're not tempted to go to the back.
now that we have our baby hairs carved out, I'm going to move my hair out of the way. This would be cute slick back. This is a really cute wig. So when I do my baby hairs and I'm still working on them, I want to make sure I do, well, when I'm cutting and stuff, that I'm cutting at an angle. hot comb on the lowest setting and just kind of push this hair back a little bit and then go ahead and put it in the part this is another vital step to having a flat install Ooh, burn myself Hot combs honestly really, really help to flatten your install. So, if you don't have a, a hot comb, definitely get you one. I um, wax stick, this is 24 hour. Uh, this is actually by um, Even as well. And just kind of slick it over the top to get rid of some of those flyaways and then put it back here or right here by the hairline. And then I'm just gonna take my hot comb again, the back of it and just go over that really quick. Y'all, and that is it. Look how simple it was to do this hair song. Taking my edge brush and just kind of like pushing, pushing the hair back. So that's just kind of how I want it to fall. Look at this y'all. This is such a pretty wig, okay. So if I wanted to put it behind my ear, to do that, that's what it's looking like. And this is the end of the video. I wanted to come on, you know how I always do, and tell you guys what I thought about the wig. I am in love with this wig. I think it is very pretty. This is what my baby hairs and things are looking like. It's so what the hairline looks like. This is a great wig to throw on and go. Comb it out so you guys can see it a little bit better. This wig is very pretty. It gives me kind of like a, a body wave dupe, almost like, or like a day old curls. It's kind of what it gives me. It's very pretty, very full. I love the texture of the hair. Um, it does have a little bit of a shine to it, but the shine gives it that natural look, almost like a human hair wig. So that is a great plus. 
Um, I didn't have to do any plucking. This wig came pre-plucked as well as they have the baby hairs already cut for you. So I just went on ahead and customized them to my liking as you all saw before. And then I applied a little bit of my powder just so that it looked more, you know, like my skin or, you know, like my scalp. And that was it. So this wig is very pretty if you all are looking for something that's easy to throw on and you're a beginner or you're not really sure how you feel about wigs. This is perfect for you because you could just put it on and go. And the curls are very pretty. I didn't receive that much tangling so that's really good for a synthetic unit. No shedding. Still a little shed test y'all. We always do. Yep. No shedding. So that's great. And yeah. This this wig is very soft, very manageable, very easy to work with, and I'm in love with it. I gave it a 10 out of 10. If you guys are interested in this wig, I will have the link down to this wig down below. This wig was sent to me by Sam's Beauty, so I want to give them a big thank you for sending this wig over. So that is it for today's video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumb. Let me know in the comment section what you all thought about this lovely wig. Y'all, let me know how I did on my baby hair, so I feel like... I did really good on my baby hairs this time. Hit that subscribe button and hit that post notification button so you're notified every time your girl plays a new video. Our posting schedule is Tuesdays and Thursdays, so be sure to check back every Tuesday and Thursday for a new video. And as always, I will see you guys in my next one. Be sure to tell a friend to subscribe, then to tell another friend to subscribe, and then tell another friend to subscribe because we were on the road to 1K. I love you all so, so much. You don't know how much this means to me. Thank you all for subscribing and supporting my channel. And I will see you on my next one. I love you. Mwah.